What up, what up, what up, people? Um, today, I want to talk about, and this is going to be a real quick video. I'm, I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. Um, I did a video about, uh, I think it was day one of my seesaw flush. Um, I actually did upload, well, I didn't upload, but I did record um, a video of day two of my seesaw. I did two days of the seesaw flush. Problem is, I lost all the footage of day two. So I couldn't upload day two. So what I'm going to do is just give you guys a review of the whole process and you know how I felt and how I feel now. Um, basically, uh, the seesaw flush is a very simple cleanse. It cleanses the entire colon and the entire GI tract. Okay. Now, people who get colonics and animals, um, if you if you if you like me, you don't like things get stuck up, up your butt. Okay. Uh, so if you're one of those people, uh, sea salt flush is a great alternative. Um, it's real quick. It's very effective. It works almost immediately. It takes about 30 minutes to to an hour, okay, to take effect. And you want to use a, a high quality sea salt. For example, pink Himalayan salt, um, uh, Hawaiian black lava salt, uh, Celtic salt. Um, what else? There's a, there's a lot of uh, sea salts out there, so you might want to do your research on those. I can't think of them on the top of my head right now, but they're out there. So, basically, the general rule is it's uh, a quart of clean water, like spring water or distilled water. Preferably spring, spring water, because... The still water is really like dead water and you really you want to you want to use live water like spring water you know what I mean um cuz if you use the still I, you sometimes I do mention the still water but the reason why I do mention that is because the still water is good with um removing inorganic matter from the body but with this you really don't want to you don't have to worry about that because this is a different type of cleanse. But this, it helps with just sweeping the walls of the colon. So, the mixture itself is going to do its job no matter what water you use. Just make sure it's clean, filtered water. Okay, so, spring water. Um, if you're using bottled spring water, or even, you can use alkaline water. If you're using bottled or bottled spring spring or alkaline water what you can do is you can use uh, fresh lemon or key lime water I mean uh, key lime juice and you can just squeeze it like just, all you need is like a maybe uh, one to two tea tablespoons of that okay and you can put that in the mixture okay um so it's one tablespoon this is what I use some people use one taste um, I mean two uh tables mm, teaspoons i'm sorry two two teaspoons of sea salt and um one quart of water and you just shake it up shake it up real good until all of the salt is dissolved okay and then um well before you do that you add in um you add in the, um the lemon or key lime uh juice okay and then you shake it up just make sure all the the salt deposits are um, dissolved completely or as much as possible um, and then you drink that as you drink that within five minutes like you drink it as quickly as possible or it won't be effective and then you gotta follow it with another 32 ounces of uh, um, of water okay as long as it's not tap water so, 
after that is pretty much you pretty much playing a waiting game. Um, you might want to just lay on a bed or a couch, uh, preferably on your side, like your left side um, or your right side. Whichever, if you're right-handed, uh, you can lay on your uh, left side. If you're left-handed, lay on your right side, and you just rub your stomach. Now, what this does when you're rubbing your belly, you just mass you massaging it, and you you basically uh, you basically uh, for lack of a better term, you're guiding the water and you're helping it sweep the walls because that's what it's doing. So it's sweeping the walls of the colon and the, and the, the GI tract. Okay, so it's sweeping the walls, getting rid of all that guck and all of that fecal matter, the hard fecal matter that's been trapped and stuck in your, in your organs all this time. Okay, in your, your, in your intestines to be more specific. Okay, so it's getting all that stuff out of there. So um, you're gonna you're gonna know it's working because you're gonna hear some uh, gargling noise in your in your stomach. That's when you know it's about to go down. Okay, and some people experience some nausea, some nausea um, feelings. If you feel like you're gonna vomit, discontinue. Okay. Um, but sometimes it's kind it's kind of normal because the sea salt mixture is not tasty. Okay, it's sea salt water. It's like going to the ocean and getting a cup of you know scooping up a cup of sea salt water and, and taking it to the head or even just trying to sip it. It's not it's not good. Okay, so just try to drink it as fast as you can. Okay. Or you can even hold your nose and just try to drink it as fast as you can. Do whatever you can to try to get it down. Now, the reason why, the reason why I suggest you don't have to use a lemon, but the reason why I suggested the lemon or the key lime is because it helps to, uh, it helps to, um, how should I say this? Now, detens detensify is not a word, but. <laughs> It helps to lower the intensity of the uh, the sea salt mixture because it's so it's so uh, it's so nasty that people cannot take it. So the lemon or key, or key lime helps you to better uh, you know better be able to handle the uh, the nasty taste of it. So that's why I suggest adding that. So. I was able to better like I, I can handle it without the you know the lemon, but I put that in there for people that can't handle it you know. So um, yeah, just give that a try. But anyway, so day one was tough as as far as you know going to the bathroom because I was in there longer. I had to stay in there longer. Um, it was harder as far as releasing um, but it was a, it was a success nonetheless but um, you know it was harder um, but I noticed I released lots of parasitic parasite seeds now that's a good thing that's really what you want to get that's what you want to get out too those parasite seeds um, now before this, I did prepare my body. I didn't eat meat for 30 days. Uh, that was my goal going into this year anyway. Uh, not eating meat. I didn't eat meat since the, th the 1st of January. So that was my goal. You know what I mean? So I did prepare my body. Um, you, you, well, you do want to do something like that before you do a sea salt flush to you know make it easier on your body. Um, so people are going to experience different, different things during this. Now day two went a lot smoother. It actually just went. The, the, I took the sea salt mixture, went right through, went to the bathroom, went right out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're gonna know when you're done when uh, you start uh, releasing a lot of uh, liquids. I, I noticed how I was uh, the liquids was was real acid acidic. So there's a lot of acid in me, which is good if you're releasing a lot of acid. They don't belong in there, you know. So, uh, 
I probably need to do one more day, but I just wanted to do two days just just to see where I, where I was at in my body. But I needed to get those. I, I noticed the second day I didn't. I, I noticed some more parasite seeds, but it wasn't as much. It wasn't nearly as much, you know. But I still released some. But it was a lot at the first day. I was like, "Damn, what is that? It looked like some sesame seeds." But I haven't eaten sesame seeds, and I can't remember the last time I ate sesame seeds. I'm talking about like a couple of years, maybe. But I know a parasite seed when I see one. Those are parasite seeds. And that's good. Because when, you, when you're dealing with parasites, you really want to get rid of the seeds so they can't reproduce. Okay? You want to get rid of those seeds. Okay? Um, now I feel great. I don't feel aggressive. Even before then, I felt good. But now I feel even better. You know, my, my, my thoughts feel clearer. Uh, I have a lot of, I have more energy too I feel lighter I mean sea salt flush is amazing I, I, I recommend this to anybody that, that that if you I mean if you if you want to do a colonic I mean more power to you but sea salt flush I mean it's a cheap effective alternative that I mean come on man you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with that can't go wrong with that. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Sea salt flush. I only did two days. Now, you don't want to go more than seven. Don't want to go more than seven. I also wrote an article on that, on the sea salt flush, on my website, uh, herbmansgarden.com. So, you can check that out too. Everything's on there, so um, that's it for this uh, for this video right now. Okay, till next time, peace.